I don't think letting the brain damaged man perform surgery on someone's lung is a good idea, actually. It's Rimworld. Welcome back. I hope you're having a wonderful day. We need to have a chat with Troll Pants because Troll Pants has had an idea. We're going to change our ideology and we've actually finished the Electro Harvest. That's fantastic news. Let's go for Void Provocation. That sounds like something that won't cause problems. At the turn of the year, the 1st of April, May, 5502, spring has sprung and Troll Pants has had an idea. We've seen now Mufus and Hawks shot through the head. We've been as charitable as we can be. We've saved quite a lot of lives, actually. Let's be, let's be reasonable about it. We have saved quite a few lives. However, we're not doing enough to save our own lives. Today, we are becoming the bulwark. A proper defense is the only way to stay safe on the rim. All weapons in the universe will be useless if your soldiers are dead. Simple as that. We're adding in an extra... Uh, what are they called? Memes? Yes, we're adding an extra meme. Bringing us to four. Psychic focus, emancipation, healthcare, and of course, bulwark. No other real changes here. We're going to remain as the remnants. We're going to, you know, keep our narrative and our deity as exactly as they are. Slavery will remain forbidden. Charity will remain important. The leader still remains as the best psycaster. And we're going to go with sharp armor. What this actually is going to mean in sort of real terms. If we take a look at troll pants here. No metallic armor, minus three, versus Nacho, who is wearing armor. Strong armor, plus three. It's recreation starved as well. That'll probably be, you know, and the ravenously hungry. That'll probably be because of the, you know, the events of last episode where Trollpants lost an arm. Nacho had to perform some uh, field surgery there. He wanted to stop an infection. Of course, Kerwin did in fact die, uh, but fortunately was able to self-resurrect with death refusal. And is currently feeling a bit sick as a result of that, but, you know, it'll be fine. Surely won't sprout any other uh, tentacles. How did he get stabbed in the tongue? Don't question it. Don't question it. On today's agenda, then. I'm gonna keep vehicles on the to-do list, just as a reminder to myself. Zed's in a party frenzy, which means what exactly, Zed? You're a child, for goodness sake. Oh, you'll gain recreation twice as fast for the next eight days, and you'd like to attend a party? Sure, you know what, actually? That's pretty on point for the fact that you are three years old and 55 days. Holding places, absolutely want to try and get those done, especially now that we've unlocked the Bioferrite Harvester. I'd uh, very much like to put one of those on our uh, smiling guest here. Little World Medicine will just turn up when it turns up. It's a difficult one to actively pursue, unfortunately. Beyond that, and perhaps most importantly, as a result of the change in ideology, we need to armor up. And armor up is going to require Huckett to do a lot of fabrication. We've got access to marine armor, recon armor, grenadier armor, privateer armor, so many things. We also should probably consider building a uh, arm for troll pants. Are you kidding me, Nacho? Really? Why? Why Why would you do this? Cool. All right. Aethel and uh, Nacho are going to be the next parents that we've got. Outstanding. What was I looking? Armor. Yes. Yeah, I think uh, we're, we're going to whip up Bionic Arm Patrol Pants after what happened there. Absolutely fair. We could also look at maybe some lungs and stuff. I don't think we can make those yet, actually. We'll make an Arm Patrol Pants. That's a completely reasonable thing to do. Hey, Zed's learning how to shoot stuff. That's fun. One other thing I'd like to do today as well is uh, change where we're growing all of our crops to be kind of up here, maybe. I think we could potentially reclaim this bit of soil and just have like a nice bit of field going on around the houses here, such as it was. On top of uh, moving our growing operation a bit closer to the houses, I think as well it would probably be a good idea to move our kitchen and dining a little bit further up there too. And Huckett's already getting to work on the arm, which I think is quite nice. You know, uh, Huckett and Trollpants did end up being divorced. How are they getting on with that as it goes? Uh, Huckett, you're fine. Whereas, yeah, divorced by Huckett, still, um, still quite upset about that one. Understandably, is troll pants. At least he's luxuriantly comfortable. Resting on clouds of heaven. That must be a really nice chair. There's not a moment's peace, of course. We are dealing with another 
psychic storm, a supernatural psychic phenomena causing a great disturbance in the area. We have actually seen one of these before, and uh, I believe we were attacked by a Archon, I want to say, which led to us having this Arco blade and this uh, Arco plate just kept in our storage for forever, seemingly, anyway. Feels like it's been there forever. Hopefully, that ain't going to cause too many problems and fires and whatnot, but, well, we'll, we'll see. Quest completed. Oh, substantial building. I guess that means we can demolish this eyesore, which is great. I'm all about that life. All that remains of uh, all the old hatlases now is just the dirt pathways that sort of we had set up between them. That bionic arm is finished, which is excellent. And I think, given the fact that the arm is finished, we yeah we've we've got we've got 13 medicine there. So uh, I don't really want to mess around or wait. Let's get that arm installed into Trollpants's body. That's a weird sentence to say, but hey, okay. Guess it's going to need to be, I don't know, Zari? Or, well, no, Priad, right? Priad was our uh, best medic after Trollpants. And here he comes now. It is, in fact, going to be Priad that installs the arm. Please don't mess this up, Priad. I believe in you. It's quite an expensive piece of kit that you're installing into Trollpants here, so uh, no pressure or anything. And the Psychic Storm has, in fact, brought with it an Archon Raid. A group of Archons have arrived nearby. They're attacking immediately. Not really a group as much as it is just one person. Hey, hello, how are you? Zalakray, the Arco Blade, I see. Hey, you know what? You want some Highlander stuff going on here? Let's go. Where are you, Nacho? Got a challenger for you. Just showing up. It's Lack. Wow, you're actually very strong. I wonder if Nacho can go one-on-one -on -one with you. Maybe we want to bring some backup into... Into play. Oh, Athos is asleep, of course. They are. Hooker, it. it's going to be you. Surgery failed. Oh, we had. You had one job and you failed at it miserably. Well, that's just cost us an arm. And you're going to walk away? You've left Trump and it's bleeding out. And you're going to walk away? I don't know about that, actually. Could you, um, how about prioritize tending to him? Right, where are, like, Hooker's. Fine, I think you just chill up here. Nacho's almost in there. Look, we can't have you firing. That's um, that's not part of the plan here. Fire at will, switch off. There we go. Get yourself behind there. Uh, blade focus is up. Big damage is up. And then our range on the move in ain't massive, but hey, Nacho can leap something else. Get in there, Nacho. There can be only one. Oh my goodness. She's actually bleeding out. Oh my goodness, she lost. What are you doing? You're kidnapping Nacho? See, this is why we brought Hooker here. So we're not going to let that happen. You can, in fact, stop firing Will now, Hooks. Wow. Nacho lost. That's honestly impressive. Turns out there is something out there that can match Nacho. And its name is uh, Naked Archon. How unbelievably humbling that must have been. Yeah, you did actually get chopped up quite a bit there. Maybe it's the fact that you're pregnant that didn't really help matters. I don't know. Should we have sent a pregnant woman in to do one-on-one -on -one honorable combat with uh, strange alien? These are the questions that Rimworld asks of you. Is anyone going to come and stop Nacho from bleeding out, though? Don't rush or anything. Thank you, Kalani. At least somebody cares. Hey, and you really did get done in, didn't you? You didn't lose any limbs or anything, no? No, you're actually fine. Or you're going to be fine. All that's left of uh, that Archon is just a smear of blood from Hooker's gunshot. I imagine, you know, the work Nacho did was kind of responsible for the blood as well, but Hooker ultimately finished the job there. I'm genuinely shocked. What a humbling experience. Although you're already entirely fully healed. Is it just forever now? See your scars. These are all scars. Oh no. Those weapons are... Wow. That fight has basically rendered Nacho tremendously useless if these scars are all just going to stay because I mean the blood loss is just factoring into the consciousness but the consciousness factors into everything but I mean like we're going to have to fix these scars holy crap looks like most of them are all on the uh, legs right leg left leg keep an eye on that and our research in toxin filtration means that we can now craft and install bionic organs that can filter out toxins from the environment and from enemy, enemy attacks. Uh, oh, I see. Hey, jump packs, why not? Uh, what does that actually translate to in real terms, though? Oh, a detoxifier lung and a detoxifier kidney. An advanced kidney using a series of nanofilters rapidly remove toxins from the blood. 
And the lung. Survive longer in polluted environments. Defense lung rot. Cool. Well, we've got a certain Priad and a certain Zari that both actually need a lung. Hey, Zari needs a leg too. Maybe we want to address the lung problem first. We'll make two lungs. It'd be nice to get Zari and Priad uh, breathing normally again. Well, as normal as you can call having an artificial lung, anyway. All right, there's Zed. What are you up to? Radio talking? Well, a perfectly reasonable thing to do. I think we are going to release... Uh, we'll go with Migiri. We're going to release Migiri. We, I'm just looking at their genetics. We There's not really a huge amount here that I'm particularly keen on grabbing. The poor cooking animals and artistic would be nice, I suppose. Something to be said about that. I know I said that we were going to armor up today, but uh turns out that the limb replacements and organ replacements have taken a bit of priority instead. So, Nacho, these are not going away. And uh, as a result, her moving and manipulation have been, well, cut in more than half in one, in, insofar as the moving is concerned. Yeah, cut in half the manipulation, which is a problem. Uh, we kind of need to fix that if we want to be able to continue to rely on Nacho in the way that we have been. Given the fact, though, that, you know, she's pregnant, probably shouldn't be drinking alcohol, to be honest with you. Gonna just let that be for the time being. We've currently got Priyad giving an another attempt on Troll Pants. Are you gonna succeed this time? Oh, absolutely are. Phenomenal work. Look at this. You've now got a bionic arm. I told you we'd take care of it, Troll Pants. And uh, I guess you'll be back up and at it in about two days' time based on that anesthetic that you've been taking. So, hey, you enjoy yourself. It's definitely slowed her down. In so far as, uh, well, everything is concerned, really. That lack of manipulation that Nacho's now got, so... Uh, real problem. Especially considering she's level 17 in construction. You'd think that uh, these walls would basically be putting themselves up. Doesn't look like she's botching anything, though, which is quite nice. Ah! She has just... Yeah, she's, she's botching certain construction jobs as well, which is... Uh, Speaks to the fact that you can have all the construction skill in the world, but um, being in severe pain, and oh man, this is just, this is grim to look at. Wow. I wonder if we could use this, though. It's not yet bonded, you know. But mad whaling. I wonder, actually. Let's see just what that actually does in so far as Nacho's mood. Because if we can start using this weapon, that would be kind of awesome. Okay, so the Persona bond is there, and it will refuse to be wielded by anyone except Nacho. Real wailing. Oh, it's only a minus six. You know what? Cool. We'll roll with that. You've served Nacho very well, Saber. Now she's got... Oh, jump box. Now she's got... Uh... I'll let you finish your dinner and we'll take a look. Yeah, that's... um, That's definitely a look, all right? You might be in pain. You might be battered, broken, and bruised. But hey, you look cool as hell. So, good job. One of the two lungs is now ready for use as well. So, uh, let's go ahead and replace... Zari's destroyed lung with a brand new detoxifier lung. Actually, Troll Pants, uh, how you feeling, bud? The anesthetic's wearing off. No pressure or anything, Troll Pants. Just a bit of lung surgery. Great success. There we go. You now have a fresh lung. With the advent of bionics, you know, so many things become possible. All on condition, of course, that we can continue to maintain our uh, need of advanced components. And the final lung is being installed by Troll Pants into Priad. And he's successful. There we go. So that's Priyad and Zari mostly fine again, right? Yeah, look at this. The anesthetic's still wearing off. But once that's worn off, well, before that, yet another destroyer has landed. This one is fairly far away. Um, nevertheless, that's something that we're going to have to sort of deal with. This destroyer, though, I think once we've armoured up a bit, we'll probably try and take that out. Maybe another ship or two out as well. Troll Pants has gone on a date with Athos. They're talking about learning backgammon and hostile dentists. Whilst sky gazing. Just normal behaviour here in Cauliflower Valley. To be doing this sort of thing. Ah yes, facial hair. Indeed. I think um I think we'll leave you two to it. We've got a bit of flooring to throw down here, but uh, the kitchen and dining area and storage has been shifted. And all that's left of where it once was is a nice little green field. The Librarian, High Stellarch of the Exclusionary Imperium, is making a request. A mechanoid swarm has been attacking her settlements. She wants us to signal the mechs to distract them whilst she actually clears the hive. So, you're going to do something about this, but you want us to do something about it too. I see. And we'd have to deal with a mechanoid cluster. Yeah, I think we could manage that. 
And I think we'll go for that Eltex cape. That sounds like something Puckett could potentially enjoy wearing. What's the worst thing that could happen? The question really is, where's it going to land? Here it is now. Hello there. That's not the worst position, really. What does this do, though? We'll assemble a Lancer, and it can assemble four different Mechanoids. It periodically assembles and deploys. So we really just want to get in here as quick as possible, huh? Well, I think we're going to have to do this without Nacho. And I suppose our best angle of attack is going to be something like from around here. Let's go let everyone get into position here. Oh my goodness, you are so slow. Oh my. Actually, you know what? Let's not get the slow pregnant woman involved. Alrighty. I think we should probably... We send in Zari. Although, actually, I don't know that we even want to be meleeing at all here. If we were to just... You're all dormant at the moment, right? Because there's a... Uh... I just the question really is when are they going to wake up? I think we're going to position ourselves here. Don't fire at will. You two come around as well, and then if Troll Pants was to set up a shield, and then we switch on fire at will, and everyone goes all in on the assembler first of all. You two just hold. Oh wait, the, tr the shield's only on Troll Pants. I see. Is this the one that we needed? I think the skip shield's what we actually needed. Troll Pants. Um, put that down. Yes. Hey, okay. hold position, you two. There we are, look at this. We could do nothing. Right. Pocket, if you were to drop a Thunderbolt on that turret, that stuns it. That means that Zarya and Aethel can rush in and get to work on it. The assembler's down, which is great. Take care of that thing. Pocket, can you drop another Thunderbolt like here? Perfection. Okay, that's that turret gone. Next up, this one. You got fire on that. I think we're done. I think we're done. We're done. Not even a problem. Not even a problem. Not a problem whatsoever. This fire might be. Yeah, job done. And our prizes have arrived as well, haven't they? What did we get from that again? It was a book, wasn't it? Yeah, the medical book. I see. Hey, a book. Polani, I. I kind of like the look, actually. I've, I've got to respect it, but uh, I was kind of hoping that Huckett was going to wear that. On you go. Does mean I think that the military jacket that Huckett's been wearing this entire time is no longer going to be something that she can wear? Yeah, that's jacket off, but look at this. What a way to be. Off you pop. You know something, Kalani, actually? You can, you can wear the jacket. Yep, perfection. The green really goes with the hair. Good job. Okay, so... Chem fuel production is going to need one of these crude crackers. That's then going to need some chem fuel storage, which is, you know, that's fine. Guess we'll pop the cracker here. Takes up quite a bit of space, doesn't it? Eight components. We're still fine. And uh, we are chewing through our steel reserves. I can't pretend we're not. But uh, to that front, we now have the ground penetrating scanner. And we should see people using it. We've got, uh, yeah, we've got like quite a few people on research duties. So, I mean, in fact, it's already got 16% progress. So, yeah, but. That's fine as well. Idea with that is we'll find some steel and then we'll deep drill for it. Guess we're gonna need some chem fuel storage though, aren't we? I really like the way this has turned out. I think it's become it's it's definitely an upgrade over what we had before. And I think putting in the extra materials and effort to make this uh, fine marble tile probably made this room. Let's have a look. A dining room, a very impressive dining room. Yeah, I imagine they're gonna be quite pleased with their dining room. Very impressive dining room. There we are. Oh, they're all happy about defeating the mech cluster as well. Ain't that something? Such a strange, strange person. We'd be visited by a gene trader. See what you got going on. Oh, you've got some slaves. We're going to have to emancipate those, aren't we? That's going to be expensive. They've got some nice stuff. They've also got some less nice stuff, for sure. But uh, gardening's quite cool. Green thumb. Just makes people happy when they're doing plant work. Actually, maybe it's not that interesting. I don't know. Fast aging, strong immunity, and tinder skin. I mean, the, the strong immunity sounds good, but the others who don't... Swift meditation could be useful. Capable of having a faster meditation session. Yeah, that sounds interesting. And uh, Luciferium dependency with phenomenal medical. On the one hand, the phenomenal medical is what? Plus 12 medical skill. But the downside is, of course, you'd be dependent on Luciferium to stay alive. And yeah, I'm not really about that life. You don't have any glitter world medicine, which is really unfortunate. What we could really go for is a uh, exotic goods trader. I think they're the ones that, um, they're the ones that carry the glitter world medicine. We'll stock up on a bit of uh, regular medicine, seeing as we're down to three. Lover and Kasuba. Now, the question is, right, if I was to free them, you're from the old civil ones, so that's good. I think they, uh, if, if we, they're both from the old civil ones, as it happens. 
I think if we free them, they should actually disappear and go and join their own faction again. So sure, let's do that. And then Slave Emancipation. Begin. I've been looking forward to doing this. I've not seen this before. Although I imagine it's just going to be them. Yeah. You're right on the money, troll pants. Correct thinking. That's what we want around here. All about that correct thinking. Aren't you glad that your that trade ship dropped by there, Glover? Kasuba? Look, man, this is the moral structure of the universe that we're following. That's the word I was looking for. We're following the correct moral structure of the universe. And there you go. Oh, they've recruited. they bloody recruited. I don't want you to recruit. Um, I, I'm, I'd rather you disappeared, actually. An amazing slave emancipation. Legends will be told about Troll Pants' speech and how those words will resonate in the future. See, it's all about correct thinking. You know what, the two of you? Welcome aboard. Sure. I need to uh, spin up the old name generator for you two, however, and hit you with the conversion stick. I think we'll do that immediately. Welcome aboard, Lianlu. Welcome aboard, Shandin. Probably going to need to find Shandin some clothes from the looks of things. A flesh beast attack. Right up in our business, no less. I see. All right, then. Well, we don't currently have any guns for our new recruits, but uh, we can make do without for now. Form up, because uh, apparently we're going to get a hole in the ground. And there we go. All right, let's go. Oh, the cougar. The cougar. <laughs> Whoops. They are, they are actually getting through our hail of gunfire. Isn't ideal, but uh, we're managing. It's fine. All right, move up. Move up. Uh, Zari, can you finish these off as well? A poor cougar just uh, was in the wrong place there, wasn't it? And we need to fill that in immediately. Not messing around here. Huck it. Go, go, go. Nacho, you're pregnant. Go away. And I think that's it. It's filled. Yeah? It was over before it even started. Easy mode. Not a problem. It's a shame, actually, we probably should have left one of these things alive, but um, we didn't. What can you do, huh? Our chem fuel cracker is up and running, at least, so we've now got ourselves a decent source of uh, chem fuel, although the power draw on that is something else entirely. Holy moly. Yeah, that's drawing from our batteries quite substantially. We're going to need to... Uh, I mean, we've we've got some fuel going in. I think the sooner we're able to build our chem fuel power plant, better. It uses 72 a day. That's producing 31 an hour. That's fine. Yeah. Oh, it looks like Shandin's capable of uh, becoming a Psycaster too, which is super nice. Um, I think we'll give you a linking session with the old anima tree there. One other thing we're going to need to do is find a house for Lianlu and Shandin as well. We have got one ready to be furnished and it shouldn't really be too much of a job to build another one. They can live next door to each other. They can be neighbours. So, Shandin. And Psycasts. Terminus Shandin Wikidaris. Oh, what a name. In their childhood, they were a tomb maker, and in adulthood, they're a foreman. They're a distressed tycoon, exceptionally empathetic and sensitive to the suffering of others. Has an eye for silver and a tongue made from it. Wow. But they are feeble. How about, then, you become a harmonist? Sure. Dampen the caster's sight, hearing, movement, and manipulation in exchange for overcharging the target's own physical ability. Ah, oh, so you... Make yourself bad to make someone else really good. I see. Hey, that's kind of cool. Yeah, I think Harmonist fits you quite well, all things considered, Shandon. And our first ground scan is finally finished, and we found some steel underground, which is tremendous, as we are really burning through steel. Holy moly. Feels like just yesterday we had like 12,000 steel. You gotta be kidding me. Another one. Looks like Zed's gonna have a brother or sister. How much fun. In fact, too much fun. 16,000 watts of raw chem fuel usage, which means our power supply is back to a good place, which is great considering this thing is drawing a tremendous amount. In actual fact, we could probably increase the power on that. From the ashes, after enduring life-threatening challenges side by side, the divorced couple, Pocket and Trollpants, discovered a renewed strength and understanding in each other. With the past grievances fading into the shadows of their trials, they have decided to remarry, vowing to support and cherish each other anew amidst the uncertainty of their world. How absolutely wonderful. Presumably. We will not talk about the Troll Pants and Athos date. That was just a, you know, that was speaking of Athos, actually. There we are. Look at this. Guided shot. What does this do? Project a psychic aura for a few moments that allows the caster to alter the path of any bullet they fire. 
doubling their weapon range and guaranteeing hits. Wow. Nice. Really good with a gun. And clothes from the sky. Hey, you know what? That's all right. Shannon and Hooker just got into a fight over ideology. Hooker tried to convert Shandon. Shandon reacted in anger and started a fight. And uh, Hooker definitely came out of that worse for wear. Gotta be said. A couple of bruises on the... F How did you bash Shandon in the right foot with your head? I'm not going to question it. I mean, they're both fine. They're, like, they're not like in any danger or anything. But uh, to the point where you really need to get on um, that conversion. We can do so in 12 hours, so that's fine. But uh, yeah, not my favourite situation to have these two hospitalised, considering the two of them are both quite good at construction. And we've got projects. Actually, I think the project. Yes, the projects are actually finished. We had projects. Bigger your project, it is about time we got those holding places and new laboratories set up, but not before the deserters arrive to ruin our day. Why is it that every single time I start to talk about something, something happens? A group of Imperial deserters have arrived in transport pods. They aim to cause chaos and a landing scattered all over the area. Terrific. They aim to kill Hooker and Athos. And they're attacking immediately. Sure thing. Right. Where are they landing? Is the main question. Right on top of... Wow, you've landed at a terrible, terrible place here. I hope. Nacho is going to be able to do some work. Troll Pants is nearby. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, that's everyone that's nearby, I suppose. Where's Athos? Yeah, you're all... You, you guys are a bit of a distance away, so you just chill and have your dinner. Sinatra, also a fair distance. Hazel, ages. Sorry, now go. Looks like it's you three. Uh, robot buddy, let's not be hasty. There's just one. Where's the other one? It doesn't matter. Do it. And I think Nacho's immediately been downed. <laughs> yes, she has. Oh my goodness, that's a gun that they've got. Oh no, this is, uh, this could be bad. Right, we, we do need more people. We, we do need more people. Uh, Lian Lu, you know what? Actually, oh, your melee's rubbish. Just get out of here. Get out of there. Get out of there. Athos is almost here. Whoa. What just went boom? Are you okay? It had a, he had a knee spike? My word. You all right? Yeah? You okay? Yes? Oh, pants. You've just lost your right foot and left ear. I see. You're bleeding out in five hours. Please go to hospital. Lianlu, uh, can you rescue Nacho? Athos, you were a bit too late. Wow. That was an explosion and a half, wasn't it? Oh, Zari's teaching Zed the way of the world. Uh, anyway, where were we? Nacho's fine. It's troll pants I'm genuinely worried about. Why don't you get to the, get to the hospital? Because Priyad's going to need some help once he arrives too. Athel's on the job for uh, troll pants at least, so that's something. And Farley's there for Nacho. Great job. Where is Priyad? There he is. Well, one foot and one ear is all it cost. Just when we delivered that new arm to Troll Pants as well. That's a nightmare. And look at the mess they've made. For goodness sake. How did you die, anyway? What 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 actually was it that killed you? Priyad hit Danies with a shotgun blast. That'll, that'll do it. Yeah. A sawn-off shotgun that Priyad's using. Priyad's got the minigun, true, but also is carrying that uh, sword-off shotgun for, well, these sorts of situations, I suppose. But Priyad's house, and a bit of Zari's house, too. As I was saying, before I was interrupted by the deserters, I'm going to uh, use this building as a um, science lab slash holding place for our one, one anomaly. And uh, might expand it down. A little bit further as well if we need to but for now i think it should be fine a mangled figure is approaching the colony he wants to talk hello I've seen someone like you before you've got it's another death refusal isn't it from the school you're athletic huh all right let's uh let's send clav out see what you've got to say for yourself the mangled stranger stares at you with empty eyes and speaks in a broken voice she claims to have escaped from a terrible cult and begs to join us has the ability to defy death yeah we've seen uh we've seen this before we've already got one of you actually I'm sorry, but this is this is not the place. And now you've turned hostile. Upon being rejected, Harrogate flew into a murderous rage and began to attack, and Clav can do nothing to defend herself. Oh boy. Run fast. Snatcher, you're closest. Zari, you're quite close. Please don't murder Clav. Run, run away. Run away. Keep running. There we are. Good job, Snatcher. No, keep running, Clav. You don't understand. Person's out to kill you. There we go. Right. First of all, how dare you? you? Do you know what? How dare you? Oh, 
Oh, she's coming back to life. <laughs> of course she is. Uh, I don't want that food, actually. I don't trust food that weird cult members brought with them. You are still hostile, aren't you? Yeah. Are you running away? No, you're melee attacking something. No, you're not melee attacking anything, that's for certain. Finish her off. You can get back up, right? Yeah. You enjoyed yourself there, Zari. Finish her off again. <laughs> and again. Oh, God, this poor woman. Are you finally dead? No, oh, you're coming back. That's you, right? You're dead now. Yes. Great job, Zari. I'm sure you enjoyed that very much. I don't know why I didn't expect anything less. Of course she was going to turn hostile. The last few bits were harvested from those fields, and that land has been entirely reclaimed. It feels a bit strange to just have this throne room out here off to the side, but I, I actually like it in its own way as well. So, you know, that's something, isn't it? Just had a visit by a bulk goods trader, and uh, we were able to get offload a ton of junk, pick up some extra components and advanced components, and uh, perhaps more importantly than all of that, restock ourselves quite nicely on Nutramine, which means that we can start uh, an oxycycline production once again. Nacho has become suddenly allured by a captive entity as convinced it must be freed because of void fascination. Well, we can't be having that, Nacho. I don't know what we should do here. I think if we send Zari in just to awe, how about, hmm. Yeah, we're going to set, we're just going to have Zari here to uh, give it a quick, uh, oh, I don't know. Sweep the legs. As soon as it gets freed, sweep its legs. We'll recapture it. Can't believe you're doing this, Nacho. Oh yeah, now you're now you're running away, aren't you? Yeah. Please don't kill it, Zari, for the love of God. Great. Well, thanks for everything you've just done there, Nacho. You really, really did some good work by uh bring that entity. Good grief. Just as we were getting this put together. Oh well. I'm gonna call this done for now, at least. It um it might be the case actually that we could probably make it a little smaller rather than having this sort of like dead area here i'm not too sure but uh irrespective of anything else that i might do with it for now we've got holding places that are dedicated and we've even had enough bar bar blah, blah, blah. we even had enough uh bioferrite sitting around to put down at least one electro harvester it's a little bit unfortunate that our smiling shambler was killed be a natural releasing it and Zari being a bit too overzealous with their hammer, but you know, that's just the way things go. But yeah, for now at least this is this is pretty good. I'm pretty happy with this. What it has meant as well, being able to expand our main storage a little bit, and as well as that, just change our crafting area to be honestly, it's it's a bit monstrous, isn't it? I hate it. Wow. Now that I look at this again, I hate it so much. Or oh, I might need to do a bit more remodeling with this, actually, because this is this is awful. That's so bad. That's really bad. Hey, you know what? Let's move the resource console to the lab. This is this is terrible. This is one of the worst things I've ever done in this game. Definitely going to need to do some remodeling here. An unusual heat wave has begun just whilst, you know, I'm doing the remodeling. Everyone's all of a sudden going to be a little bit sweatier than usual, which is honestly, I, I could live with that. What's going on with Nacho? You're, you're resting. You just look down here and it keeps making me worried. We really need to fix you. That looks a little better, doesn't it? Not by much, but it, it definitely looks better than it did before. I'm, I'm just going to live with this, I think. Going back to Nacho, and I realized that actually her movement is down to zero. She is down. And I think that might be due to the pregnancy, alongside all of the scarring, of course, as well. To the point, I think we're going to have to rebuild Nacho here. And she's going to need at least an arm. Both legs replaced. We can't really do much about the torso for now. But that's two legs and a right arm at a bare minimum. But I think it'll be worth it because uh, we can't really have one of our best fighters be, um, well, incapable of fighting, <laughs> to put it completely simply. Uh, we are really, really low on steel, which is a slight problem. We are uh, drilling for it down here. Let's hook it, getting after it. Good job. Fortunately, the... Legs and arm um, are not going to cost us any steel, just plasteel and advanced components. The advanced components, on the other hand, will chunk our steel reserves a little bit. I'm just hoping that we can continue on with the deep drilling to such an extent that we can course correct almost. Ooh, weapons from the sky. Well, okay, sure, we'll uh, 
we'll take them. I was started work on a pod launching situation here, but um, yeah, the, again, the steel situation is just meaning that that's probably a no-go, at least for now. And we did unlock some advanced vehicles, and I was particularly interested in the... Was it the wagon? Yeah, good cargo capacity and can carry four people, including the driver. I think we'll uh, I think we'll look to build ourselves a wagon. Big, innit? Holy moly. Does that mean we maybe want to decommission the mule? Just to get some of the old components and stuff back? I'm not sure what we'll need to get this wagon put together. We'll need a lot of steel, that's for certain. But uh, outside of that, I'm not entirely sure. You know what? Let's do it. Decommission the mule. So looking at this now, we've... Uh... We're not that far off, really. And let's just see what happens once these resources get put into it and then see what we're left with. I think that's going to be the easiest way of determining it rather than trying to math it all out manually. Okie dokie. So we need one exhaust, one engine block, one of you, one of you. We'll need one extra wheel, a battery, and a fuel tank from the looks of things. And we've got Leandro on the job. And Hooker's hard at work getting those bionics ready for Nacho. And with the last pieces crafted up, Shandon's actually putting together our brand new wagon. Let's see what this thing looks like. Wouldn't it be a shame? I mean, you're not going to, right, Shandon? You're not going to fail me? No? You've, you're completely fine here? You've got the construction skills? Wagon. There we go. Hey, it's uh, it's like an old um, tank. It can carry 300 kilograms of cargo. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's that's. I like that. Good job. Still need to find a weapon for Lianlu and Shandon as well. So I'm just kind of looking and seeing what we've got available to us. Because we have got some... Well, we've got a fair amount of uh, research unlocked now. I'd really like, actually, to make a sniper rifle for Athos. So I think we'll go for one of them. Although 60 steel and 8 components. Oof. How are we looking on steel? We are really poor. Uh, maybe we'll have to hold off on that. But it's kind of necessary. Uh, do I bite this bullet or what? Yeah, we're going to bite that bullet. And just as well we did, there's yet another destroyer landed on the map. We are really starting to see mechanoids landing all over the place. That's six now, including the one far up north. Probably going to want to try and knock some of these out. Just really look at trying to investigate that lab too. We've got three days to do so. Maybe we send someone out. Athos, Kerwin and Zari are going to travel to the abandoned biotech lab. It'll only take them half a day to get there, which is kind of nice. And hopefully we'll be able to pick up some fun stuff there. Maybe even some glitter world medicine. Because that would be splendid. I installed these turrets and didn't think to power them. Because I'm uh, I'm good at this game. So I should probably do that. I didn't really have any rhyme or reason behind this installation. I just thought, hey, if they're going to go somewhere, they can go here. Because we do seem to be attacked from uh, this side of the map fairly frequently. So I guess it makes sense in its own unique way. And they have indeed arrived in really good time. And this is a huge monolithic structure. My goodness, the size of it. Hopefully we find something good in here. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Well, there doesn't appear to be anything on this outer circle, outer rim, what you want, whatever you want to call it. But this looks promising, and promising it is. A germline mutator? What do you do? A toolkit capable of causing random genetic mutations on the subject's germline, producing one random endogene. As a result, the target will drop into a three-day coma. Okay. We've also found medicine curiosity. Is this... Natural curiosity for medicine makes them gain recreation whenever they learn it and prevents skill loss. Hey, that's useful. Cool. Ooh, some of these uh, alpha genes. Frail digestion, gaunt head, moth antenna, and a draconori tail? A draconic tail. I see. Uh, same about the rest of the stuff going on in there. No immunity and UV-powered major. Recharged when subject to UV radiation. Reinvigorated when exposed to sunlight, but very lethargic and subdued when away from it. Again, not ideal. And no, no immunity in particular sounds really quite bad. Devil sheep horns, fungal skin, chocolate flesh, and aerofleet flesh? Chocolate instead of meat. Does this make sense? Yes, of course it does. But you can't eat them because that's cannibalism. I understand. Carriers of this gene have several fungal clumps sprouting from their skin. Cause no pain and provide a considerable amount of natural armor at the cost of making them very vulnerable to fire. And devil sheep horns, carriers of this gene, grow two short sheep horns protruding from the forehead. All right. Okay. <laughs> at least we found medicine curiosity. Take what you're given, you know? Absolutely just take what you're given. Get you guys out of here. Let's take it to myself. It's been a little while since Hazel's had themselves a uh, breakdown. I was wondering whether or not that was because a certain addiction has been beaten. And sure enough, no more addiction. We do probably want to think about dealing with this kidney. Uh, yes, kidney. But well done, Hazel. 
Very proud of you. Away you go. I've asked uh, Aethel here to carry Nacho to the hospital because bionic replacements are almost finished and I don't necessarily think it would be a good idea to operate on her right now. But I'm going to anyway. But especially not outside of this particular room. One other thing that's probably worth doing, actually, is going to be putting together a hospital bed, at least for these operations. So, uh, yeah, let's... I think we can afford one. But we, didn't ha we wouldn't have to build it out of steel. We're going to, but we wouldn't necessarily have to. An actual hospital bed. An excellent one, in fact. Whilst that's getting finalised, then, let's go about installing these bionics, shall we? It was the right arm, the left leg, and the right leg. There we are. All right. And then troll pants. Yeah, you're the man with the plan, I hope. 112% manipulation, we'll take it. Although maybe not with uh, herbal medicine, actually, now that I think about that. Try that again. Oh god, she's in labor. Okay, let's just cancel all of that for now. There's more important things to be doing, I suppose. Well, what timing, huh? Probably a good thing that we caught that. Wouldn't have been ideal to be operating on Nacho while she was in labor, you know? Can't imagine that's um, at all recommended in any medical book anywhere. Hey, I suppose we better build that crib for a baby. I am a little bit worried about this. The condition of Nacho being as it is, plus, you know, childbirth. Yeah, like, I, I'm a bit worried about this. I'm hoping that it's going to be okay, but we'll see. Considering she's at 1% consciousness, this is a little bit scary. Because if that drops to zero, she's dead. And that wouldn't be very good. <laughs> Just to be clear. And she's in a debilitating amount of pain. Oh, consciousness has gone up, though. So at least that's that's a good sign, I suppose. I've never been so invested in a character. We did have a tree dance. I thought if we have, have a tree dance, then um, maybe... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Look, in my head at the time, it made sense. Have a tree dance, because that way something good will happen. I'm sticking to that. And here we go. The bar is filled. And it was a healthy childbirth. And she got a trait out of it. Upon the arrival of her newborn, Nacho is excited about becoming a parent and has developed a new trait. There's Steadfast, Sanguine, Quick Sleeper, or Insomnia. I think, you know, you see Sanguine, you want to take it. If, if she's excited about this whole situation, which is, you know, great, Sanguine kind of makes sense. You know, she's just naturally going to be upbeat all the time, no matter what. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And it looks like she succeeded in, you know, not being killed as well, which I thought is quite good. Pretty happy with that overall. Well done, you. Right, let's get your bionics in, in place now then. Nacho gave birth to a healthy baby. Childbirth quality was 86%. So, good job. Name the child of Nacho and Aethel. Well, to the randomizer. Would you believe it's apprehension? Nithin apprehension sepultura. Uh, yeah, I'm happy with that. Good job. Proud of you. Apprehension. Yet another weird baby appears. A very happy little baby. At that. There you are. Look at that. Shandon's looking after you. Ain't that something? Wow. Rimworld. Just can't get enough. Zari? Are you really doing them? Ah, oh, well, okay. You've got you've got the skills. You've got the skills. Come on then, Zari. Show us, show us some moves. Please don't... Oh, tactical grenades. Hmm. Uh, good job, tactical grenades. Let's go for... Let's go for artillery. Sure, why not? And then, and there it is. Great work. Holy moly. Bionic arm. One down, two to go. Sorry, that again. Really uh, feeling confident here, are you? I think Priyad should probably do the next one. Tell you what. Uh, sorry, you're being a bit greedy now. Let Priyad take care of the last one for us. Yeah. Reason being, Priyad's quite close to uh, hitting level 15, and once he does, we'll be able to give him an expertise in medicine, so ain't that something. And this is it. Priyad, don't let me down. I've just talked up a big game here. And there we go. Still has the scarring on the torso, but the arm and legs all taken care of. We have rebuilt her. Been through a lot today, has Nacho. In fact, we all have. Quite a bit of time has passed. We've gone through the entirety of spring, and we're, uh, you know, five days into summer here. And I don't necessarily know that a tremendous amount of progress has been made. Given the fact that we started today talking about armoring up and all the rest of it, exactly none of that's actually happened. Our steel reserve is starting to look a little bit healthier, which is nice. The ground penetrating scan is certainly helping with that alongside deep drilling. And we've solved power, at least for the immediate future, with our uh, 
gigantic large chem fuel power plant pumping out yeah 16,000 watts which is pretty nice we've got a brand new uh wagon oh we can paint it i had no idea anyway that's cool we did get our lab and our holding places set up so that's actually quite nice we got some new joiners as well lianlu and shandin please say hello but yeah it's it's been a bit of a slow day in cauliflower valley today maybe not for nacho though Going one-on-one -on -one and then suffering the way she was, I'm quite glad that we were in position to fix her. Same goes for Troll Pants with his brand new arm, although he has lost a foot. All told, pretty happy with where we're at. Next time, I genuinely believe I'm just going to carry on with armoring up, things like that, but we'll, uh, we'll cross those bridges when we come to them. The plans made are not necessarily the plans followed. All said and done, thank you very, very much for joining me today, and I will see you next time. Until then. Take care.